Hey, what's up? This is Max from Splice, and today I'm going to show you how to make two of the most iconic synth sounds from uh, Salt and Peppa's Push It, the classic track. Um, um, they used a CZ for this, the Casio CZ 101 synthesizer, I think it was, um, which uses phase distortion synthesis to create a similar effect as a Yamaha FM sound, but this was Casio's way of doing it. I'm not going to get super into the math behind it, but it's impossible to understand, to be honest with you. Here's uh, what we're going to be making. We're going to do the strange, and we're going to do the bass sound. And by the end, when we're done, it's going to sound something like this. Put the percussion in there. Yeah, so you see, not too bad. Let's learn how to make that happen. Uh, I think we'll start with the strings, because to me that's a slightly more interesting patch. Uh, you see I've got a little bit of EQ and distortion on there already. Alright, so starting off we're going to use a pulse wave and a pulse wave here. Okay, we'll be on line 1 and 1 prime, so it makes a little copy of itself. Okay, and we're going to use a little bit of noise mod. Very small amount. Give it a little bit of vibrato to the strings. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Maybe just a little bit. Just a really small amount of noise here. Just add a little bit more of uh, texture to the patch. Now this DCW is essentially a it's 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 essentially how much of the phase distortion is going on. So it's basically it acts like a filter. Let's also use a little bit of detuning between the voices. Okay, we've already got some fine um, nice harmonics going on up there. Let's go ahead to the envelopes and start getting those right. So we're gonna use a DCW envelope for line one. And we'll use the ADSR short attack. We're gonna have a little bit of a smaller peak. Okay. Now the decay is gonna be a little longer. This will be this will kind of simulate the motion of a bow um, working on the strings. So we have a medium decay and sustain value here, and we'll add just a small amount of release as well. That already sounds pretty good to me. Let's get the amplitude envelope right. Basically what we want to do with the DCW is just get as much high harmonics as we might need to then be sculpted by the filter and the amp envelope. All right, so we're going to use the ADSR model for the amplitude envelope as well. And actually, we can... one thing that's really cool about the V collection uh, recreation of this synth is that you can see the envelopes superimposed on top of each other. So see, here's what I've done with the DCW envelope, and here's what I'm doing with the amp envelope. So I can kind of blow it out here, right? And you can compare the two. Uh, we will add, yeah, we'll add a little bit more to there. I think you have to go in and out to resize the window, which is a little annoying, but it's gonna look a lot like, it's gonna look a lot like the DCW envelope, but it's not gonna be exactly the same. The reason that I'm having a little bit less decay and a little more sustain here is because I want the modulation in the filter to really show up and for you to really be able to hear that. So that means like if the amplitude is still up while the filter is going down, right, we can hear this modulation a little bit nicer, but it's still subtle. Okay, so I'm liking the way that it's sounding so far. Let's go ahead and add some effects to really shape this. So we're going to be using a chorus, we're going to be using a filter, 
we'll be using a reverb and we will also be using, I think, a compressor. Great, so let's set these all up. I'm gonna turn the rest of these four off for now. Uh, here's, just with a chorus, it sounds like this. Just with the stock settings. So a chorus is a really nice way to add a little bit of um, stereo image to whatever patch you're making. And it's a nice way to add this little texture that makes it sound a lot more like a string to me. This. Okay, sounds really nice to me. Now let's get it with a filter. We're gonna be using a low pass filter at 12 decibels per octave. And my cutoff's gonna be somewhere around 2000 Hertz. Yeah. Totally bump the cue up a tiny amount. And we'll put this 100% wet. So you hear that's really giving it that kind of like classic sound. Now the other thing that's really gonna do that that I was surprised by when making this patch is the reverb. Um, when we add the reverb, we're gonna do a really small decay value so it sort of emulates a smaller room. And we're gonna put the uh, dry wet up super high. That way it's gonna sound sort of like washed out and old. Yeah, that's really nice. We're gonna open it all the way up with the damping, um, make it a little smaller as well. And you hear how that kind of emulates like what we think sounds like a bad recording almost. I love it. Uh, the width is fine. Let's see, the high pass is fine. The low pass is fine. Um, great, so that... Oh, I should put the pre-delay down. Yeah. Okay, sounds great. And then let's just add a little bit of compression to put it sort of back in the front of the mix. Okay, so I feel really good about that string patch already. Let's just get the bass patch, um, and then we'll be good to go. So a reminder, listen for the bass part. Cool. Okay, so let's start out with our synthesis. Let's use um, a double sign modulating a square wave here. There's sort of like a saw layer here. It sounds very big and it sounds like something's sort of, it, there, there's a lot of movement to the sound. And so I achieved that by using two different lines here um, with different amplitude envelopes, which we'll get into in a second. Uh, so we're gonna use lines one plus two. Uh, our master octave is gonna be down one. going to just add a little bit of fine detuning and shape the rest. Cool. On line one here, we're going to use some DCW, open up the filter to give us some more harmonics to play with. Okay. That sounds good. And then we'll do the same thing for line two, where we'll have a saw modulating a square wave. And then on the filter, or DCW, not filter. <laughs> That's working for me there. Let's go to the envelopes here. On, we're gonna have nothing on either pitch envelope. There's no real movement on terms of pitch. Um, our line one DCW envelope, 
uh, let's go ahead and use the ADSR envelope type. We have no delay on it. Very, very short attack. Small P. Great. Okay, so let's keep it there for a very short time. Begin our sustain period. Which is going to be slightly higher than the peak, actually. That way the sound will go, uh, the filter will hit this peak and then continue up a little bit more, but at a slower uh, slope. And you hear that gives it some of that nice big, like, weight to it, you know? Yeah, that's really coming from there. And then once we um, low pass it, then we'll get rid of some of those, like, buzzy, really high harmonics. Release on here, too, not too much. Okay, cool. Now let's get the amplitude envelope right. We'll use the CZ envelope type for this, just for you know, good measure, showing off all the different envelope types. Uh, cool. So our first rate is going to be a little bit shorter than, or a little bit longer than that. We'll have it at around 85. It's not going to go up quite that high. Okay, our next point will be point number two at a rate of, say, 89. And it's still going to be increasing at that point. Resize the GUI there. Actually, I'll blow this out so we have a little more space. Okay, cool. Point three will be somewhere along the lines of Uh, let's see, that's fine, and then point four will be a relatively long decay. There we go. So you already hear that um, the one layer sounds really nice, and the length of time that that layer takes is great. But in order to give a little bit of contrast, we're going to shape line two's amplitude envelope as well. So for this, I think we're going to use the MSEG um, envelope type. Um, if you're not familiar with these, don't worry. I wasn't really when I started working on this recreation. It's pretty self-explanatory. But I had never seen the CZ envelope type because I hadn't been um, experienced with Casio synthesizers. It's actually pretty cool. I encourage you to give it a try. But in the meantime, we're going to use the slightly more standard MSEG um, type here. This time should be about 0.47. Great. So that's how long it'll take to get all the way to the peak, although it'll go up pretty quickly as compared to the other um, amplitude envelope. Again, I've made an extra point for some reason. Can put that down. All right, yeah, we can put this down to about 0.5283, and the level here can be zero. Okay, great. Actually, this should go a little faster. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with that. At this point, I think we can move on to the effects where we can really begin to shape the sound. Once again, we're going to be using a reverb. Um, we're going to be using a filter, a compressor, and then a chorus to finish it all off. So I'm going to turn these last three off once again for now. And this reverb is going to be doing a pretty similar thing, giving us that sort of washed out kind of older vibe. We're going to filter out the input. We're going to filter it at a high pass as well and yeah we'll we'll set pretty small values that way it doesn't sound like a big like cavernous reverb um we really don't want to we don't want to mess up like the cavernous size of the rest of the movement of the synth as we were talking about earlier
So yeah, you hear that reverb is just kind of washing it out a little bit. That's one thing I like to do. You can have a really aggressive dry wet setting um, as long as you just put a little bit of, as long as you just make the reverb small enough to not um, balloon out and take over the rest of your patch. Great, so let's turn on the filter. We'll be low passing at, again, somewhere around a thousand. We're gonna be doing that in parallel when we don't have it the whole way. That way I still get some of those high harmonics in there. Uh, we'll compress all of this before the chorus, actually this time. And we're gonna have that relatively wet. Nice short attack, some makeup gain here. I really want to tame that original like transient. I like the sound of it. You hear how it kind of squawks. Yeah, so I just want to make that a little bit, get that a little bit under more control. Yeah, that's definitely a little bit nicer. Okay, cool. Now let's add this chorus. Okay, liking the sound of it so far. Make it a little bit bigger and a little more feedback. Okay. I think with a little bit of EQ, that could be a little bit more spot on, but it's a really relatively close start, I think. Anyway, I'm happy with the way that the move, the synth moves um, and the way that the harmonics are in there. If you would like to edit it a little bit more, if you have any ideas, please let me know. Maybe a little bit more resonance, maybe a little more cutoff. I also played with a few versions of this patch that had modulations um, moving the cutoff of this low pass filter. So there might be something there as well. Uh, if you find a better patch or if you design one yourself, please let me know. But for now, here's what we just made played together. Here's the original. <laughs> I'd say. Cool, so thanks for watching.